Everything about this world teaches us to hate ourselves. Every single thing about this world and this education system, this society that we grow up in, everything about it teaches us to hate ourselves and hate who we naturally are and to conform to what this world and what this society says that we should be. This pertains to everybody, but especially so-called black people. We're really taught to hate ourselves. Everything about this society has taught us to hate ourselves and to want to be like our oppressor. To strive to be like our oppressor. To listen to our oppressors. To trust our oppressors. It hasn't changed. It's still today. The same as it was back then in slavery. It's mental change now. Our people are mentally enslaved. They're mentally in bondage. In much wisdom is much grief. It's a true statement. I just talked to my uncle and he's a preacher. Well, he was. He went to theology school and all that. And I thought that I could possibly connect to him and, you know, go over some things, you know, these contradictions that's clear throughout the scripture. And I, I didn't know whether I was really going to talk about this or not, but it ties in to how we have been taught to hate ourselves and how my people have been taught by the oppressor and have taken these things to heart and ran with it. And they're so deeply ingrained with these things that they cannot possibly realize that they have been deceived by those who have taught them. Listen to anybody but your own people, especially those that you look down upon and those that you have seen throughout their life do stupid things and participate in things that are completely against the grain. You know, those that you deemed would become a failure and would be nothing. Because you've seen all of those things in that person's life. They cannot possibly carry the words of the Most High. They cannot possibly be enlightened and be indwelt by the Ruach HaKadosh. But yet, trust the oppressor. Trust the ones that have enslaved you. Trust the ones that are still oppressing you to this very day. Really gonna call me stiff neck because I chose not to get vaccinated? Like, really? It's my choice to not get the shot, and for good reason. I have my reasons for not allowing these devils to inject me. Okay? My temple is of the Most High, Almighty. I don't need these damn Gentiles to inject me with their freaking concoction. I don't need their help. I don't need the government to control and govern my health. That is my responsibility. That is my responsibility to depend on the Most High for my health and to take care of my own health. How many times have the media told the public to increase their vegetables and their fruit? How 
Many times have the media told the mass population to get out in the sun. How many times have the mass media told the populace to stop eating dead, rotting flesh and blood? How, how many times have they come forth to say these truths to the populace? Not one time. Not one time did they ever mention eating healthy, getting all your vitamins, your nutrients, your minerals that you need for your body on a daily basis. Why are they suppressing truth about flesh and blood and what it does to the human body? Why have they taken control over every damn thing? Why have they taken control over all the natural water supplies and is selling it back to us? If they really gave a damn about our health, why have they taken control over all the food and all the agriculture? Why are they wearing hazmat suits in order to spray our fruits and vegetables? Why are they genetically modifying everything that the Father created and called good and blessed and called it very good? Why are they doing all of these things if they care about our health? Why are they wearing freaking hazmat suits to fluorinate our water? Why are they spraying our skies with all kinds of toxins and chemicals? If they really gave a damn about our health. No, it's vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. Wear a mask. Cut off your natural breathing supply. Don't breathe properly for a whole freaking year. Forcing people to wear a freaking mask on their face. But no, no, increase your fruits and your vegetables, you know, take your vitamins, get your minerals, get exercise, stop eating flesh and blood. None of that. No. These people don't give a damn about our health. I am sick and tired of the lies and the deceptions of this world, man. My whole family is like under this freaking spell of Christianity. Christianity has placed a literal spell over my freaking family. They trust the oppressors. My whole family looks to our enemies for help. But I see that these people are our enemies and they are not here to help us. I'm tired. I'm freaking tired, man. The Father has increased my wisdom, my, my knowledge, and He's working wonders in my life. My life is totally changing around for the better, for the good. But it's like everybody around me don't got the eyes to see. And everybody around me is like hypnotized in Christianity. The Father taught me to love myself. And in loving myself, my life is becoming better. You know, my place was never neat, but now it's way different. You know, I keep my place neat. You know, I love myself. Why would I want to live in a junky environment? Why would I, why would I want to live in an environment where I look around and, you know, there's all kinds of crap out of place, you know? Order and discipline, that is what the Father is bringing into my life. And you're telling me that I don't have the Ruach? I don't, I don't have the Holy Spirit? It's evidence in my life. 
fruit is produced in my life. We can clearly see that my life is changing. I've dropped over 125 pounds and it's, it's still dropping. Oh, all of this weight is going to come off. By the time I'm 50 years old, I'm going to be in, in the best shape and the best health of my life. Father willing. And it is all going to be for his glory and honor. And people are going to be dismayed. They're going to be like, wow, they're going to be blown away. Because they right now, they don't believe. They don't believe that the Father is really in my life. Yeah, the Father is really in my life. He is the one that I follow. He is the one that I listen to. I am his sheep. I hear his voice. I heard his voice and I chose to follow. And his voice is different from the voice of this world. The wisdom of this world is foolishness with my Father. So if you're listening to this world and you're doing what this world is telling you to do, then you can almost guarantee that you are not hearing from the Most High Almighty Father. You're hearing from the one that said he will set himself up like the Most High Almighty Father. And you don't realize that. And this is not judgment. I'm not, I'm not putting anybody down. I'm not judging anybody. But this is the absolute truth. And my whole family is under this spell and it's so frustrating. This is my outlet. This is my life. It is not easy to sit by and watch everyone that you care about perish in this beast system when you hold the keys to the kingdom. I got the keys to the kingdom because the Father has put his word in me. So if they really want to know how to please the Father and, and all of that, all they need to do is talk to me, but they're afraid to talk to me. They don't want to talk to me because when they talk to me, their whole reality gets shaken and they don't like it. They get uneasy feelings when they talk to me because their whole reality is being shaken. It's like that, that matrix is, is scrambling and, and, and they, they, don't, they, they don't understand that everything that I'm saying, yeah, is opposite of what you have been hearing. Because the Most High Almighty Father is not in what this government is doing. He is the opposite of that. He is not giving man the knowledge to make freaking vaccines. Satan did that. Fallen angels did that. They are the ones that gave knowledge of root cutting and all of these different things. That wasn't from the Most High Almighty. My dad says that over and over and over again. You know, God gives man the ability and the, not, and, and the brains to, to do all of these things. Uh, no, the Most High did not. Yeah, he gave us a brain, but fallen angels gave us that technology. Fallen angels gave us that knowledge. You can find that within the book of Enoch. It talks about what each one of these fallen angels taught. These people are clearly wicked. They're clearly wicked. They clearly do not have our best interest at heart, especially so-called black people. They want to exterminate us. The agenda has not changed. They know who we are. We just don't know who we are. But the ones that the Father has raised up, we know who we are in Him. And I can prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's freaking frustrating that everybody around me is asleep. I don't even have somebody on my level that I can, I can chop it up with and talk to, you know. I had a sister, you know, and I confess some things to her. You know, because the scripture says, confess your sins unto one another. 
And I thought that this was my sister, you know, kindred. We were kindred spirits in the word of the Most High. And we talked about the Most High a lot. We talked about the scriptures. We talked about a lot of things. And we had a lot of things in common when it came to the doctrine of Yahushua HaMashiach. We both followed the doctrine of Yahushua HaMashiach. And so... I thought that, you know, we could, we, we were walking in truth, we were walking in spirit and truth together, you know, and we're sisters in the Most High Almighty. So I confessed some things to her, and she confessed some things to me too, which I would never divulge to anybody. I would keep her secret. But because I didn't confess it to the whole world on her timing, she cut me off and deleted me. Not only did she, before she deleted me and all of that, we had a brother as well, and I wasn't as close to him as I was to her. But... <clears throat> My brother started a started a, a a page, a truth page, and he wanted me and and my sis to partake in it, to be administrators and moderators of the page. Anyway, you know we both agreed that we would, and so we were at it as administrator and moderator to the page to where we could upload and update the page as needed. And it was brand new. It was just getting in, in started, so it was never even published. Well, my sister was like, she wanted me to confess what I confessed to her, to him, as well. And I, I felt uncomfortable about it, but you know what happened was, one day I was doing a dash, and somehow I end up calling him by accident so I'm thinking okay well maybe this is a sign that I should talk to him because he had been trying to talk to me he had been trying to like he'd been wanting to talk to me on the phone for a while and I, I've been avoiding it because I didn't really want to talk to nobody on the phone she was the only one that I talked to on the phone and I had already told her about confess your sins and all of that to one another and so anyway, I thought it was a sign to go ahead and come clean with him, too. So I did. Well, you know, they both deleted me. They both deleted me, and they ostracized me. First, they both ostracized me, and then they both deleted me. And it wasn't like I was still really participating in the in the sin it was just the fact that I wasn't ready to confess it to the whole world yet you know and I feel like because I wasn't on their timing to do it on their timing like right when they wanted me to do it then they that's why they ostracized me because I wasn't ready to come forth with the information I explained to my sister I feel like that wasn't right to do me that way, to straight cut me off. I mean, I was honest with them, you know, and so I don't, I don't really have an alt with them. Uh, I'm hurt by how they dealt with me, you know, but I, I, for, I forgive them and I'm going to let them know that I forgive them for how they treated me. Because it wasn't right. I mean, they may think that they were hearing from the Most High Almighty. But I don't I don't believe that they were. Because I don't believe the Most High would tell somebody to cut someone off just because they're not on their timing. We're supposed to have mercy with one another. We're supposed to have patience with one another. We're not supposed to be so quick to cut one another off just because we're not that person is not is not ready to do something. On, on our timing. I got homeboys that still eat flesh and blood. I don't judge them. I tell them the truth. I tell them the truth. But I still love them. I still love my bros. 
I still love my family, even though they have ostracized me, even though they look down upon me, even though they got their opinions of me. I forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is the time of persecution against the Most High's chosen people, the ones that He is raising up and has put His word in us. We're going to go through a trial of tribulation. And this is just the beginning. The beginning is this frustration of being awake while everybody around you is asleep. But yet the Father is working in my life to better my life. I believe that the Father is going to protect His people. Those that are have the right heart and are really walking in His truth and in His spirit. There ain't no reason he wouldn't protect us. So that was my word for today. I just, I had to get some things off my chest, man. You know, this world, this society, we are taught to hate ourselves. We are taught to reject everything about who we are. And, and adopt what this world and what the society wants us to be. Who they say we are. Look to the, the authority, even though we didn't make these people the authority. I never voted for these people. I never said that these people are can be the authority over me. I am the authority over my own body, with the Most High in authority over me. He dwells within my temple. I am not offering up my temple to these devils to inject whatever the hell they want into it. Oh no, the Father has awakened me. So, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And bless everybody that has found this channel. And that has found things to be beneficial for you in your life. Those that support by subscribing and liking the videos. I appreciate you. This is not popular. It's not a popular, this is not popular. My channel is not going to be popular, you know, and I'm, I'm, I didn't do it to be popular. The truth is not popular. People don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear what, what makes them comfortable and truth does not make people comfortable. So it is what it is. I appreciate those that show love. Shalom.